first started developing the Huntsman about five years ago, and it was really born out of a passion amongst the Promatic team. You know, the guys love uh, clay shooting, but they also love game shooting. And what we wanted to do was develop a machine which caught the essence of that, that could actually uh, make it feel as if you'd been on a day's game shooting. We knew we had the trap with the Super Sporter. You know, it's the um, undoubtedly the, the finest trap in the world. It can throw further, faster. We've been making it 20 years. So we knew from that point of view we had the technology. But could we create that feeling of being on a game shooting day? Our first attempt was just to take a wobble version, the ABT version of the Super Sporter, and put three of them on a trailer. And it kind of worked in that we had lots of clays in the air, but it didn't give you that immersive feeling. We wanted certain presentations of, of bird that you would see in the UK and Europe. You know, we wanted high pheasant, we wanted um, you know, fast incoming grouse, we wanted partridge popping over the top of hedgerows, and it just didn't work for us. You know, for the US market, we needed to be able to have the walked up shooting, the lifting uh, cover of quail from your feet. And how we cracked it really was when we came up with the linkage of the front two, front two traps. And once we got that movement of those, of those traps going on, uh, and that wide angle, all of a sudden the whole thing changed. That, with the new way that we placed the rear trap and the movement of that, gave you that feeling of being on a, on a game shooting day. And when we took that out on trial and let people shoot it, they thought it was brilliant. So once we got over that problem, then we just needed to design a trailer that could go off-road and be used year after year uh, in the sort of harsh conditions it's going to face and was well balanced enough that one guy by himself could handle that particular machine. And then the final piece was to get a radio remote, which we did, that allows you to put it on top of a hillside, behind a tree line, wherever you want to place the huntsman, you can shoot it. So you can get the diversity of shots that's demanded out in the, out in the countryside. I think anybody who shoots a huntsman loves it. You know, and I would encourage everybody to, if you get the opportunity to go out there and see the trap uh, and shoot it, you're going to have fun. Hopefully this DVD will get that across to you and give you the feeling of what the huntsman can do and how it is to shoot it.
The oscillation of the front two traps is controlled by this central motor, which is fully adjustable to allow for variation of the targets. The two traps are also cross-linked by this spreader bar to allow further outward adjustment. And in action, and let's have a look at the rear trap. The rear trap oscillates up and down as well as side to side. The up and down movement is controlled by this motor setup here, and in action, 